Hello guys, welcome back to EM Stein Sport. In today's video, we we'll bring to you Montenegro vs Lebanon predictions and betting tips. And if you are new to the channel, you are highly welcome. Please do consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the video as we bring you more update. Montenegro hosts Lebanon at the Port Gorica City Stadium on this Thursday for an international friendly, looking to blow away the cup waves before their Euro qualifier next week. Uh, the brave uh, falcons will play away to serbia next tuesday for the state round of the qualifying campaign in group g where the balkans outfit are currently third with eight points from five games after defeating bulgaria in their opening clash montenegro play out three losses and three draws in their next four all in alternating fashion before prevailing over the lions once again mil drag uh, rodo lovic's side are just two points of the top two teams in the group and we begin to keep producing positive results as montenegro m for the first euro appearance as an independent country lebanon will begin the 2026 uh, fifa's world cup qualifier next month against palestine winning both their yeah, friendly games this month against Montenegro and the UAE uh, will give them some impetus with which to start their campaign. Moreover, the Saders will mark their third appearances in the Asian Cup next year after qualifying for the Qatar uh, showpiece. Uh, the Middle Eastern outfit have been drawn alongside host Qatar, China and Tajikistan in the Group A. Statistically, we are predicting a Montenegro win over Lebanon with a score margin of 2 goals to 1 and the betting tips here stands at Montenegro to win, game to have uh, under or over 2.5 goals and both teams to score, which is very possible. So guys, that is the actual prediction timeline. Let us know your own viewpoints as we After having a look at the predictions and the betting tips, we take you across the a preview and highlight of this important fixture as we see match preview uh, with qualifications for euro 2024 still technically in montenegro's hands most of their attention will be on their trip to belgrade on this tuesday and we can see uh, we are going to share with you the predicted lineups for both teams as we ride on why they must win to keep their destiny in their own hands that does not seem to a tall order considering they have lost all three meetings with their neighbors since the two countries split uh, shortly before they played as a unified nation at the 2006 world cup win all three of their uh, remaining qualifiers though and uh, montenegro will qualify for their first major tournament as an independent nation after previous entries under yugoslovakia and serbia and montenegro mio drag rodoslovic side will warm up for that encounter with this friendly against one of asian's mid-ranking nations montenegro we enter the october break feeling both optimistic and on over whim over a strange set of games in september the brave falcons ended a four game winless streak by beating bulgaria in their last outing thanks to steven uh, jovestic's uh, six, 96 minute winner why remarkably playing with 10 men that result went some way to rectify the wrongs of their 2-2 draw in lithuania three days earlier when captain stefak uh, savik uh, thought he had won it with an 89 minute strike only for montenegro to squander two points when feda senich uh, responded instantly with an, an excellent calling effort to share the spoils this should be a game that uh, manager Rodolovic uh, will expect to win and set them on the right foot before the brief journey to Belgrade. But they had not had much success in the last 12 months in friendly matches. I bet against Tofa or 
opposition than Lebanon, Montenegro have a failed to win any of their previous three drawing here with Slovakia before losing in Slovenia and being trashed for goals to one at home by the Czech Republic. Lebanon entered the, this break now outside the world's top 100 nations once more after the rankings uh, were refreshed last month. Despite being as high as 77 uh, uh, five years ago, the Sedas struggled in World Cup qualifying and in some minor tournament play since their failure to reach Qatar. Semi-final defeat against host Thailand in the King's Cup and to India in the South uh, Championship followed after Lebanon finished bottom of their six-team section in the final stage of Asian World Cup qualifying. Their bid uh, to reach the 2026 edition where Asian uh, Federation uh, we have many more qualifying spots gets on the way next month when they face neighboring Palestine in a group which also contains Australia. The Asian Cup is also coming up in January where Lebanon have been uh, drawn with Qatar, China and Tajikistan, a group where they may have more difficulty in progressing from that. Uh, their opening World Cup qualifying section. We have the team news and let's see the form of both teams. Uh, Jovetic has put many of his injury woes behind him to future more prominently for Montenegro in recent months and they came up big again in the victory over Bulgaria with that led winner. The Olympiakos man may be joined in attacks by Lesse's uh, Nikola uh, Krostovic, who has made a phenomenal start to the season, scoring six league goals already, as well as in the draw in Lithuania. Igor Vojasic has been a name in the squad and will likely future here, but he will then be banned for the trip to Serbia after being sent off against Bulgaria. Savic of Atletico, Madrid and Lazio's Adam Morisic faced each other in the Champions League last month and the pair may start together on the net and the right hand side of defence. This will be the first game in charge for Lebanon's new Croatian boss, Nikola Josevic, but the set players at this, uh, his disposal here were not picked by him. The entire squad picked by the Lebanese uh, Federation Football Association all ply their trade in Asia with only four of the 28 playing outside Lebanon. Three players uh, present in the King's Cup squad have been left out, including Dania Lajut, who plays in Mexico with Alante and the left back uh, Wahe Sabra. So guys, that seems to be the actual preview and uh, uh, highlight of this encounter. What do you think guys, as we share with you the predicted lineup, we see Montenegro possible starting 11 with Major Tovic, uh, Marusic, Savic, uh, Vojasic, Tomasevic, uh, Voksevic, Longkak, Bakik, Jankovic, Krestovic, uh, Jovestik, and Lebanon here have uh, um, Mata, um, Mata again, Ayub, uh, Sho, Al Zen, Shro, Sisi, El Hewi, Sat, Dravzi, Matok. So, guys, that is it. Let us know your own viewpoints as we move.